this is RAF Stroppy, 1944-1972. Um, it's not signposted, and I only found it by looking on Google Maps. Um, but there's quite a lot here. It's abandoned, no, not abandoned, it's preserved, I suppose. There's a memorial there, and there's some buildings over there. And the airfield proper is through the gate over there. I was leaving just telling me about this grave. I just happened to take a picture of it. The guy here was on a train flight or something and um, 19, 21st of July 1944, age 19. Um, and he had a torpedo on the plane and the engine failed. And then he crash landed and got trapped and he died in the flames. Still quite a few outbuildings here. I assume they're World War II, but I'll have a look at these now. There's still a few buildings here. Um, I'll look a bit. These, this section used to be kind of a memorial of such. Some old photos. Yeah, it actually says former RAF Struppy Memorial. So, 619 Squadron. I was looking at this a minute ago. Now, I know this might have been a slightly fake colour, but the colour of that block is the same as the colour of the block it is today. <laughs> That's weird. I'm sure it's deliberate. It's a great old photo here. Houses that you can wander around, you can't go into anything. Um, the airfield, I believe, is still active with uh, gliders. And there's a go kart track, or there's a signs about go kart tracks anyway. Just back to the memorial. So, this was made in 2014. Billsby. This is uh, a few miles away. I'm in Woodhall Spa. And this is a more memorial to 617 Squadron Dam Busters. Weirdly, the sun has gone in, which makes it actually easier to see. I mean, I can't count the number of names on there, but there is a lot of names. Um, significant number of Canadians and Australians. <laughs> 